These kestrel chicks don't have a mum to care for them. She disappeared a few days ago, leaving her six chicks at risk. And when she hadn't returned, I decided to step in, taking the chicks out to check them over. The youngest three were particularly weak, so I kept them in to nurse them back to full strength. I'm hoping to get them back into the wild soon and back to their siblings. The three older chicks are still in a nest, but thankfully they've got a super dad. This is Mr. Kez, a male kestrel, defying the odds to care for his chicks. Male kestrels are the hunters of the family, but Mr. Kez has done the impossible, learning to tidbit feed them too. But with his duties split between hunting and feeding, he's got a tough job. Mr. Kez is doing really well, he's feeding the chicks now, but he isn't quite feeding them enough, so I'm heading down just to give the chicks a bit extra. I'm giving him a helping hand feeding the chicks with a few mice while he's away. This should help take the pressure off and ensure these chicks survive. Meanwhile, the three youngest chicks are doing well under my care. I'm feeding them six times a day and they're growing fast. They'll soon be ready to get back to their siblings. Under the care of Mr. Kez, and with a bit of help from me, the older chicks are developing too. Beneath their fluffy down, their flight feathers are starting to show, and the eldest even flaps its wings for the first time. They're growing in strength, getting steadier on the feet. After nearly losing these chicks, it's amazing to see. Now it's time for the next step of my plan. Getting this family back together. So I've had these little kestrels with me just over a week now and they're doing really well. So it's time for them to go back into the nest and hopefully Mr. Kez will cope with them. But they're just gonna have their final feed with me it's incredible how they've grown, look at them. The smallest one is still little, but it's uh, really sort of growing and doing well. Yeah, I think we're filling them up again. So I've been feeding these kestrels about six or seven times a day, and uh, that's then now full again for another feed. So I keep my contact to a minimum with the kestrels so I don't want them getting too used to me. They're going to go into the nest box in a few minutes and uh, we've just got to wish them well now. But they're going to be back in with the male kestrel and it's going to be really interesting to see how they get on there. They've got the competition of the bigger chicks in the nest and we've just got to hope they all uh, do well, all six chicks. So it's time to get these kestrels back in the nest where they belong and I'm sure this plan's going to work and I'm just delighted we've got this far with them. It's going to be interesting to see what the other chicks make of it all. Alright then, little one first. Good sign and noisy when you pick them up. Right. There you go. <laughs> Don't want to leave. one. There we go. All right then, well good luck. Another one in. They're feeling a really good weight. And nice and chatty which is a good sign. 
There we go, there's the last one. Alright then, we've just got to wish these little guys luck. But I'm sure the plan's going to work with Mr. Kez in charge. There we go, last one in. Alright, last thing to do is just to pop a few mice in the entrance. So Mr. Kez has got a bit of extra food. Alright, we're going to leave them to it. see them on the live camera just underneath the nest now and it's incredible to see all six chicks back together. The youngest chicks seem intrigued to be back home but the older three hide in the corner. They seem a bit stunned by the siblings return. It's not long before they all settle down together. but there's still an important reunion ahead. An hour later, Mr. Kez is back and he heads straight in to feed. He's so focused on his role, I'm not sure if he's noticed the additions to the nest. He gets to work feeding the brood with a vole he's caught. Mr. Kez is taking it all in his stride and it's just incredible to have all these chicks back together. In the next film, the Kestrel chicks are thriving. They're soon big enough for identification rings. And taking their first look at the world beyond the nest. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.